Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. So a ton of you guys requested that I do a makeup look just using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm kind of surprised I don't already have a video of this because I absolutely love this palette. It smells, I just can't even explain. I mean, it smells like chocolate, but it's just so much more than that. It has a ton of really pretty neutral shades. You have your highlighters, your shimmer colors, your matte shades, your transition sh shades, and your darker shades to deepen the crease or the lash line or anything like that. And then it also has a few pops of color sprinkled into this fabulous treat of a palette. So if you guys like what you see and you wanna learn how to do this, then keep watching. The first thing you want to do before a night out is prep your skin. That means washing it, hydrating it, all that good stuff. Today I'm going to use the Nourish Organic Face Cleanser and this one has cucumber and watergrass and the reason I'm using it is because it's going to hydrate my skin, it's going to soothe it, replenish it, and it also doesn't irritate your skin. So you want to really make sure your skin's nice and plump. So I went ahead and did that. Next, of course, you want to apply a primer always. I'm using this Bodyography Primer. This is a Veil Foundation Primer and it makes your skin feel super velvety. So I'm just gonna apply that all over my face. So next I'm gonna do my foundation. I'm kind of debating what foundation I want to use. Cover Effects Natural Finish Oil-Free Foundation. And I'm in the color G50, I hope. The Zoeva Silk Finish 102 brush. And I'm just gonna start buffing this into the skin. Okay, the color is pretty good. I got this foundation a little bit ago, but I never really used it. I mean, I think I used it once, because I was obsessed with Benefit Hello Flawless, so I wasn't letting go of using that one. You guys all know that. I'm sorry my hair's down, I would put it up, but I spent all this time curling it, so I don't wanna mess it up. I really like this foundation. Lately, I've been using the Brow Bar To Go by Whitening Lightning, which is now Gerard Cosmetics. And I'm gonna first go into the darkest shade here. What I do is I use a angled 263 brush by MAC. And I'm just gonna lightly fill in the front part of my brow with this. If you guys want an in-depth brow tutorial, go ahead and check the link down below. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're wondering what's on my hand, these are hand tattoos. They're by Seekers of Sun, which is a company that sells metallic tattoos, and they're really, really cute. I love them. It's like henna, but gold. I'm gonna go in with the uh, Dip Brow in, this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm gonna go in the color Dark Brown. And I like to use this on the tail of my brow because I have no hair there. And no, I didn't shave my eyebrows. That's how, that's just, what's that phrase? That's just the luck of the, the draw of the straw, the luck of the straw. Whatever, I'm not blessed with brows, that's what I'm trying to say. Follow where my brow should be and start to build on it. I look back at old pictures when I didn't understand the importance of eyebrows and I'm like, <gasps> I'm gonna take a Makeup Geek mini concealer brush and this Motive concealer in the color Amber and I'm gonna carve out my brow with this. This is gonna sharpen the shape of your brow and it's gonna also highlight your brow bone. All right, so I'm gonna base, base, base. Apply a eyeshadow base and this is just MAC, MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm taking that with a concealer buffer from Zoeva. Alrighty, so now to the fun part, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this dual-ended crown brush. This is synthetic fiber, so you can use it with wet shadows or dry shadows, which I might use both. But I'm gonna go in with this color f over here. Oh God. This color here. The colors aren't listed directly on the palette, so I'll make sure to put them in the description box. But this bone color here, and I'm just gonna swipe this across my whole eye. And this is kind of going to just make all of our eyeshadows easier to blend, because it just is. 
We're gonna go into the crease with a Zoeva soft crease brush. This color here, it's a light brown. And I'm gonna run that into my crease as a transition shade. Now, I'm gonna take my MAC 217 and I'm gonna go into this um, darker brown shade here. And I'm gonna start defining my crease with this. And we're gonna just start building that crease definition. So we don't wanna go too overboard with the crease because we wanna keep it a little bit softer as far as the eyeshadow goes. That's soft for me. Some of you guys are probably like, that's a cut crease. All right, I think I'm gonna dampen my brush with my MAC Fix Plus. I'm just gonna take a Sigma Firm Shader Brush. I'm gonna spray it a little bit. And I'm gonna dip that into this color right over here. When you apply Shimmer Shadows Wet, it actually intensifies the color a lot more. And that's something I pretty much always do with shimmery eyeshadows. Such a pretty, soft color. I love this lid color. Let's highlight the brow bone. I'm gonna use the crown brush again, and I'm gonna go into the palette and take this really pretty shimmery sh <laughs> But I'm gonna take this color here and I'm gonna apply it to the brow bone to give us that really nice highlight, which is gonna catch the light really nicely. See how pretty that looks? And now it's time for the eyeliner, and I'm gonna use NYX Black Gel Liner. And this is gonna be my first time using it. I used it in my other video as a base, but this will be my first time using it as an eyeliner, so I'm interested to see how I like it. This is in the shade Black Noir, and I'm using the Morphe uh, liner brush. It's the M217. This is also my first time using this eyeliner brush, so God be with me. You wanna start with a thin line in the inner corner of the eye. And I'm just gonna use padding motions to get product into the lash line. All right, so now what you wanna do is make a flick. And I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a line going towards the tail of my brow. Kind of thicken that up. After I do my gel liner, what I like to do is take the NYC liquid liner. I like to really define the outer part. It's a little easier. It also makes it a tiny bit blacker. What I like to do is take a little bit of concealer and I'm using that Makeup Geek brush again and I like to really define the bottom of the wing here. So if it's a little crooked, you can use concealer to kind of sharpen it up. I'm thinking that I wanna deepen the crease just a bit, but not too much, just slightly. I'm gonna grab this dark brown shade over here and I'm gonna just tap a little bit on my MAC 217 brush and define it just a little bit more. In this month's Ipsy Glam Bag, I got this Pacifica liner in Fringe. And Pacifica liners are really nice because they're waterproof and they're also really easy to smudge. Brown is a good alternative to black if you have smaller eyes because black can sometimes make them look even smaller. I'm actually gonna pick up some of that same color we used as our transition shade in the crease from the Chocolate Bar palette, and I'm gonna run that along the eyeliner to soften it up. Oh man, I forgot to put my concealer on. Oh, I always put my concealer on before my lower lash line because I don't like it to mess up the smudging that I do. So we're gonna do our concealer now real quick. I'm gonna take my NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Custard, and this is lighter than my skin tone, but I use it to brighten the under eye up. I'm just gonna pop that. I'm just gonna take my Zoeva Silk Finish 102 brush and pack that into the skin there. Go in with this Zoeva brow line brush. And I'm gonna take that dark brown that we used just to deepen the outer crease. 
from the chocolate bar palette and I'm going to apply it just to the outer portion of my lower lash line. So by putting it on the outer, it just gives you more of a almond shape without making your eye look smaller. It's time for mascara. You really want to use a mascara that is not going to smudge or clump. I'm going to go ahead and pop on this Avon mascara and this is the big and daring volume. I like these, um, this brush because the bristles get all of my little baby lashes. But now I'm going to apply these lashes by House of Lashes in the style Iconic, which I wear all the time. But now I'm going to apply some bottom lashes. And these are Precious from House of Lashes. All right, let's see if I can do this on camera. I wanna pop them under my lashes. All right, so I had to go off camera to put those eyelashes on. It was just too difficult. But now I'm done and they're on. I'm gonna go ahead and use a, um, an HD powder because, duh, you're going out, so you want to look HD. Oh God, it's getting everywhere. <sighs> and this one is by Be A Bombshell. Oh my God, it's everywhere. But it, <sniffs> ooh, that's a problem with HD powders, but they really give you a nice matte silky finish, so that's why I'm using it. And also this is sheer, so it's not gonna give any extra color. So I'm gonna set my under eye concealer with the Anastasia contour kit, and I'm gonna use the shade Banana. Banana. I'm going to warm up the skin using this Makeup Forever bronzer, and it's a matte bronzer. And this is in the shade 40, I think. The number's a little, the number's a little iffy. Next, I'm gonna go into the contour kit by Anastasia and just kind of mix all of these colors. I don't know why I do that, but I just, I just do. And I'm gonna use this, actually, no, I'm, no, I'm gonna use the same brush. Let's go with it. Pop that just on the outer portions of the cheekbones and blend it upwards. Okay, I'm gonna use this uh, Naked Pigment by MAC. It's still really pretty, it gives you like a nice glow, but it's not as intense as what I usually use. So it's kind of just gonna give a nice little sheen. It's not super, super highlighty. So I'm gonna grab that Naked Pigment and also use it in the inner corners of my eyes just for a subtle twinkle. I think I'm gonna use Peachy Keen by MAC, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna pop that onto the apples of my cheeks. Cool, we're done. We're just gonna do the lips now. I'm gonna give you guys two lip options. The first one is gonna be more geared towards a fall red type of lip, and then the second will be more classic red. I'm gonna use Night Moth Lip Liner by MAC. Okay, so I'm going to apply this lipstick by Hikari. It's in the color Cabernet. It's a really nice berry shade. It's a really nice, rich colored lipstick and it glides on really smooth to the lips. So on top of that, I'm going to add this um, lip gloss. It's from Kaylin in the number eight. And I'm just gonna apply it to the center of the lips, I think. We'll see how I feel. But. Oh no, we're gonna apply all over. Oh, this is the first lip option. So now it's time for the red lip. I think I'm gonna apply a little bit of the lipstick first and then I'm going to clean it up with a lip liner. This is a lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics and it's called Fire Engine. I really like this red because it's a very classic red lip color with uh, blue undertones and blue undertones are always gonna make your lip, your lips. Blue undertones are always gonna make your teeth look whiter. Okay, I'm gonna take my cherry lip liner and start cleaning that up. I'm 
That is the classic red. I love this red, it's so bright and like in your face. All right guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you um, learned something new. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Hola! Uh. I feel like one of those old moms that's like, oh, what's Twitter? Let's do Twitter. <laughs> tweet, tweet. What they said. Stop it. So classic. This is why I don't talk to camera. Ya no puedo. Oh, God, I'm such a lady.